Hey everyone, it's amazing. Um, let's go out and have a little walk, walk around, walk through, whatever you want to call it, while it's raining. I'd really like to do that. Something about the rain. Everything smells good, feels good. There's a lot of oxygen, so let's take advantage of that and uh, capture a little video for you guys. So there's been a uh, few updates here. We got some uh, lantanas planted right here. Lantanas, and I uh, I found this uh, Barbados cherry at Lowe's. It was like 12 bucks, so I picked one up, and it was already flowering. So that's a W. Let me lock this. There you go. Uh huh. All the dormant trees are coming to life. Mulberries. This is where we're gonna plant uh, our vegetables. And I also picked up a couple of papayas here. So it was like 12 bucks. And uh, I always go for those that has like two or more plants in the pot. So I couldn't find more than two, so I just picked up uh, the one with the two. I uh, split them in half and put them in different pots, and they look like they're doing good. I mean, they're struggling a little bit, but in a few more days, they'll make a comeback, and uh, they'll probably just be just fine. Papayas are pretty tough plants. We pl planted a uh, climbing rose right here. And I think uh, the guava is flowering. Yes, this flower buds, I think that's what it is. Let me see. There you go. Not sure yet. Oh wait. Skittleen is pregnant. Very close to uh, giving birth to a whole bunch of kittens. Look at all the mushrooms coming out. This is a uh, mycorrhizal mushroom or fungi. I added it to the soil deliberately because it works with the plant roots to deliver nutrients. It increases nutrient uptake. Um, and that's awesome. So far, I've, I've you know, I've been using it for a couple of years now and it's uh, it really does make a difference. All right. What else have we done? Uh, this one mulberry here did not make it. It never produced leaves. Not sure why. All of them made it except for this one. I think it's called Mystic Red. The bottom of it is uh, still green, so I'm not sure if it's it's uh, it's one of those late varieties or what. I'm not sure. As you can see, everything is turning green. Everything is looking nice. Looks more like the forest that I wanted to live in. Planted a, another mulberry here. I've been working on the fence. All these uh, oleanders are coming back. None of them died in that uh, 14 degree hard freeze. So that's awesome. Did some work here. It's 
So on the right, I did the, uh, I reconfigured the setup and reduced the number of uh, seedlings I grew from seeds. All of these are plums, these little ones here. So there, I had 14 and now we're down to eight. And I, I, um, I picked the strongest ones and uh, spaced them out a little bit. And on the left here, I propagated over 30 figs, like yellow, purple, and white, and planted them here. So on the left, we're going to have figs, or uh, yeah, I guess so, left or right, doesn't matter. Depends on where you look at it from. On the left, a row of figs, on the right, a row of plums multiple varieties all right this is where the fence line is going to be right here look at her with her big belly you can still move uh-huh she likes to touch me a little bit there you go that means I love you or hello one or the other the bananas are good they didn't die we had a freeze it was like 25 I think and they didn't die even the little ones and that's pretty cool all I did is just I just put a pot on top of them like an empty pot this one is doing really good so this is like uh, this is the point where they take off when they have like multiple leaves like that this size they start producing and go nuts. Uh, let's look at here. The uh, most of the figs came up, except for that one, but it's still green. Some sort of variety, giant Patrick's, I think, giant fig. It's still uh, it hasn't come up yet. You gotta be careful of the mosquitoes. All the other pigs looking good. The grape looks looks oh yeah look, look at that. Seems like we're already gonna have some grape. This muscadine didn't do well. I don't know if the freeze killed it or what. Not sure what happened to it. This one, uh, the rabbit ate the leaves off of this. Um, grape unfortunate but that's okay once we put up the fence all those problems will be solved pow pow coming up can't wait to have some pow pow this one is good but still no leaves the uh, it is still green though I checked it scratched it see the swells collecting water pretty cool um, kiwis I removed one here in, in the middle it died not probably not dead it's still green but uh, we had the hard freeze and uh, it lost its leaves and I'm not sure if it has if it has more energy to come up with the new set of leaves so we'll see um, the apples looking good Crab apples, also good. We have a, uh, a mimosa tree producing leaves, just coming out of dormancy. It's pretty cool. Planted some cherries. There is, there is a fig in here, so still it hasn't come up yet, but it'll come up soon. Cherry. This is a uh, Royal Crimson Cherry. I bought two of them. They were on discount. Fantastic price. So I picked up two. I put one over there and one over here. Before we go and look at more plants, let me show you the fence line that I've been working on recently.
Look at that. See? Going up in the eight foot tall fence soon. It's going to look pretty cool. And also, probably a um, privacy screen on top of that. Just to give it, you know, get extra privacy. That's the property, that's how it looks from here. Mm -hmm. So everything on um, mostly have worked out without an issue. It's just the rabbit seems to have uh, caused the most damage so far, actually. The goji berries still here. They started growing. Just the rain is beating them up a little bit. Look at her. <laughs> She's crazy. Blueberries. Mm-hmm. Pomegranates, all of them worked out. They're all produced leaves. I gotta probably protect these blueberries before something eats them. Because I'd like to have them. Most of the blueberries uh, produced. I don't know which one is the best variety. That's why we're doing that. Um, giant Fuyu persimmon. I see maybe some leaves coming up soon. But nothing so far. This is a Fuyu persimmon. The top portion of the plant died during the freeze. So it's coming right above the, uh, the graft. So that's good. Still alive. This one though, this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to make it. The, uh, I think the portion above the graft is dead. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait and see. Most likely is because yeah, that's the graft right here, and everything above that it died in the freeze. I'm gonna replace it. Uh huh. Sorry, so blueberries. So the entire line of blueberries produced. Get all the mushrooms here. It's crazy. This is a blackberry. Looks good. This is another blackberry. I think it's producing already. See some flowers. I have this around it because uh, these bur uh, the bunnies, the, the rabbits, they're destroying these uh, bushes. Uh, elderberry looks crazy. I can't believe how fast it grew. This is unbelievable. And this man is taking off. I don't know how big it gets, <laughs> but it looks like a massive plant. This is beauty berry right here. I'm put uh, oh, that's the cherry that I told you about. The second one, a royal crimson. Low chill. And um, does not require a pollinator, but there's two of them here, so that'll help with even producing more fruit. Look at this, this is crazy. Elderberry. Look at this guy in there. Everything looks so bright, it's unbelievable. more like what I'm seeing the roses rabbits they like roses so if you didn't know now you know he ate he munched away on this one but left this one for some reason very pretty look at all the mushrooms <laughs> oh that's crazy So he munched on this one as well, that's why it's struggling. He ate a lot of its leaves, but it seems like it's still alive. I think it'll make a comeback, just, it'll be fine. Oh, I forgot to mention, there was one, um, 
persimmon that did not make it. It was planted right here. And I think I just I threw it on the side here somewhere. Because I was angry. I was pissed off. This one nursery. They sent me it. I don't know where I put it. I threw it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look at this. That's how they sent it. No roots. I thought maybe persimmon is, you know, is a special kind of trees that don't require a whole bunch of uh, root de development, but I was wrong. Maybe, maybe I am wrong in the way that uh, some of these might survive. Some of them, like this one, just didn't make it. Because I bought two from them, and that giant fuyu, it's still green. The stem is still green, but there's there were no root developments when I planted it. It was just a stick like that. I don't know. This one did make it. It was all when I scratched it. It was all black. It didn't make it. I'm not gonna buy from that uh, nursery again. So I don't like that type of um, work ethic. Um, pineapple, guava. Looking good, growing very fast. See, that's the other mulberry. All the mulberries worked out except for that one uh, red mulberry. I ordered a replacement, so. Little rose bushes coming up. Looking good. Laquats looking good. A lot of new leaves. All the uh, little seedlings I planted from seeds, propagated from seeds, they're still alive. I have to do some weeding. Even this one that got destroyed by leaf cutters, it's still alive. This one, it had flowers on it. I thought we were going to get some fruit, but we got hit by a late, I wouldn't say late hard freeze, but it was a, it was uh, an expected freeze and caused some damage to the flowers. Hold on, there you go. So uh, we not, we're not going to get any liquids this season, which is fine. They're, they're still very young plants, so they need time to grow. Uh, I think we have something eating these uh, liquat seedling leaves. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's more leaf cutters. I've been fighting them since I discovered how um, destructive they are. I have to keep an eye on that. All the liquats are doing good. This is a mountain laurel. I planted it right here. I planted three. Well, I bought one. It was just one pot, and there were four plants in it. So I separated them. This one, this the stem is still green, but leaves are brown. Not sure what that means for this plant, but I'm waiting on it to see what whether it's going to recover or not. Another mulberry. Same thing for that. Uh, mountain laurel brown leaves green stem so I'm not sure what that means but I did spray some copper fungicide just in case maybe that's some sort of infection hibiscus here this is uh, another hibiscus I think there's like three or four different colors in this one pink yellow red white maybe this is just red Here, I planted some, uh, what do you call them, I forgot, uh, marigold seeds, but most of them didn't come up. I don't know, maybe that seed pack that I bought was no good, maybe it was too old. Just a couple of them came up, most of them didn't, I'm not sure why. And this is called a butterfly, um, butterfly bush, butterfly something. It's just a wildflower, great for butterflies. It's a 
It'll be a big bush. I can see some uh, marigolds, but not many. All the jujubes coming up. All of them survived the freezes. They're pretty hardy plants, so that is to be expected. And I think that one over there in the middle is already producing flowers. Let me see where it is. Or at least the flower buds. Or is it this one? I don't know where I've seen it. Yeah, like, there you go. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Five different varieties so far here. And more is coming because I love jujubes. They tend to taste different from one uh, one another. This is a quince. Went through a lot, survived a lot of damage. The goat, the freezes, the move, a lot of a lot of damage. But they're resilient. And they're good, and they're growing just fine and coming back and flowering. I think we might even get some quince this year. And I'll try to bag them up and protect them from the birds because it seems like they like quince. Look at this. Uh, um, what's it called? Let me see. Bruce Plum. There it is. Bruce Plum. Loaded with plums. Very cool. This is Florida King Peach. It's got some few peaches on there. This is a yellow pear. Looks like it's, uh, it's got quite a few pears on it already. Very cool. Uh, Flat Delight white peach, I think. Loaded. Like, I don't know, like hundreds of fruits on it. This is unbelievable. I've had it for a couple of years. It was in a pot and now it's living in the ground. It's doing just great. Um, this is a Santa Rosa plum. It just finished flowering. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's going to produce any fruit or not. I'm not sure. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see. This is a golden plum. Same thing. Just finished flowering. I can see, like, you know, little green buds, but I'm not sure if this is going to. If that's going to translate into real fruit or not. Hold on, let me pause this, get rid of the umbrella. Alright, the rain stopped, so we don't need the umbrella. Look at all these swells. They collected a lot of leaves, a lot of organic matter, and a lot of water now. That's the purpose of swells to provide water retention and food for the plants. But look at this one. So one thing I didn't mention is that I planted, oh there, you can see it right there. I planted mint in these whales. Look at, look at there's so much life in it already. You can see all kinds of bugs and flying insects. I haven't gotten bit by a mosquito yet, so that's great. Um, so, right here in the middle of these patches, I planted some uh, flowers right there. All the citrus came back, and uh, I mean, citrus does not take, this doesn't like 14 degree weather, but most of what I have are um, cold hardy varieties, that's what they call them, satsumas and you know whatever is known to be able to take uh, cold weather but you know obviously they're they're still very young so uh, you know I'm hoping that they would uh, have enough time to grow this season to be able to take uh, another cold winter 
I'm not sure. We'll see. It's an experiment. I'm just experimenting and seeing what I can do. There's gonna, there, I'm going to take some measure to protect them um, even more next time. So. so this one right here, you see? This is the trifoliate. That's the rootstock. I got to break that off. We don't need that. But this right here is pineapple orange. See the difference in the leaves? Trifoliate, pineapple orange. I have no use for the trifoliate right now, but maybe in the future, start propagating citrus. I wanna have one that produces fruit and start growing rootstock from seed. Pomelo, still alive. This is the Caracara orange, red orange. This one pomelo here did not make it, completely died. I think it was the Sarawak variety. And um, that one, it went through a lot. Like freezes, the goat split it in half, uh, leaf cutters ate all the leaves two times in a row. No good. So it didn't make it. I'll replace it with something else. It was extremely seedy anyways, so um, not the best variety, but it did taste good. Um, there you go. Obviously the Arctic Frost Satsuma, these are rated for 10 degrees, I think. So they'll, they'll be able to take cold weather. This is Orange Frost, I think. Also made it and survived. This is the rest of the citrus. This is Hamlin. Full of flowers. Smells amazing. But I'm not going to allow it to produce fruit. If it forms any fruit, I'm going to pick them. I don't think, uh, you know, because it's just still a very young plant. I don't want it to focus on fruit development. I want it to just focus on um, branch development and uh, growth. The lemons that we've planted from seeds three years ago, still here. It's looking good. I think this is called Poncan Mandarin. It's still alive. This is the other lemon. We have, uh, let me put this right there. This, uh, Greenhouse. Let me see if I can open it up. Propagating a whole bunch of stuff here. I got some marigolds, catnip, um, rose of Sharon. Um, this is the edible hibiscus. I got some jujube, Indian jujube grown in the back, and uh, uh, maple, red maple, which I just learned that it's going to take three months to come up so we have a bunch of flowers and stuff follocks right here what is that over there sunflowers english wallflower sweet pea zinnias salvia these are peas or beans uh, pineapple tomato lemon balm you know, all kinds of vegetables and flowers. We'll be tra transplanting them soon. There she is. Mm -hmm. This uh, Pakistani mulberry is doing good. This is uh, some form of jasmine that does not like freezes obviously so that's why it's coming back from the roots rose is looking great I really like this one all of them are producing and I had a line of marigolds right here 
but I over planted those seeds so it's way too many I'll have to move some of them and in these circles there's a bunch of I forgot what it's called these are some yellow flowers and these are lilies it came with the property so I just left it and I didn't do anything to it I just gave them compost and uh, some fertilizer here there's a bunch of flowers I dumped a bunch of seeds and I wasn't expecting for most of them to come up but they did so I'll have to just get rid of some I'm just waiting on it to grow I'm not sure if they're all gonna make it or not all right we bought some hydrangeas hopefully we'll have a bush here There's another one over there, two more over there, on the opposite side. And I did the same thing, so I always look for um, the pot that has like two or three plants. And I, both of those, uh, they had two plants each, so I split them into four, and they all made it. And they're looking great. And here, this is new. This is another line of fig right here. I can't get enough of fig, so fig is amazing. Different varieties. I propagate it from cuttings. They're all looking great. All of them made it. This one made it the best. Already producing new leaves, and I just planted them the other day. This one is struggling. I have a replacement if it doesn't make it. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was just the rain because it was plump yesterday. It's still there. It's still alive, I think. If not, I have a replacement in a pot. But most of them looking good. Figs are pretty tough plants, so they'll, they'll take it. I have to uh, cement these posts soon. I wanted to do it yesterday, but ran out of time. This is how the property looks right now. I think with the fence, it's going to look really nice. But that's really tough. It's a lot of hard work. 1500 feet around the property, eight feet high. It's gonna take some time. But I work hard, I work fast, and I get it done. It's just a matter of time and availability. I'm gonna plant a bunch of bulbs here. Oh, actually, I already, I already did some of that, I'll show you. Planted some shampoo or ginger shampoo or sh shampoo ginger, one or the other. I'm not sure how you say it. Planted them uh, close to each other. So I don't know which one is going to make it, which one is not. Right. See the erosion? It's because there's no plants here. There's nothing covering the ground. Something always has to cover the ground so you don't get erosion. This is where I planted the bulbs. A whole bunch of them. A few inches away from each other. All the azaleas coming back. I fertilized them. They're looking great. Um, I fertilized this whole line here. But I ran out of fertilizer when I got to the ones closer to the gate. So as you can see, if you look over there, those don't have uh, many leaves coming up. And these are covered. So fertilizer does really help significantly, especially if they haven't been fed in years. So I'm going to buy some fertilizer for those. 
and uh, help them out a little bit. I think we covered everything already. That was your uh, food forest update. Stick around for uh, more videos in the future. It's hard to keep these videos short because I have so much, so much going on here. I'm going to put down so much more. <laughs> so I apologize for the length of the videos. There's some more flowers coming up from seed here. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's, it's hard to uh, compress a food forest video um, in a few minutes, you know, especially if you're trying to identify plants and stuff and there's some more I planted more um, mint right here I like the way it smells I think it does some something wonderful to the soil in the sense of repair because every time I uh, I dug up mint and I looked down it's like the soil was black full of organic matter so it might be one of those plants that does a lot of uh, carbon sequestering so we'll see what what happens good but this this soil here wasn't the greatest that's why i added a lot of compost a lot of mulch a lot of worm casting and some mint here so it can take over this area i don't think it'll take much of um, the nutrients off of the other plants but yeah um this is mock orange here and uh my tropical stuff Miracle fruit, strawberry, guava, all the dragons looking good. I'm gonna have. I'm creating uh, cages for them here, so they can climb up a little bit, like a trellis. Um, this is uh, what is it? Man, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> it's some sort of tropical fruit. This is that jujube. This is my baby right here. It had some uh, spider mites, but I kept spraying it with water and they seem to have stopped infesting the plant. Both of these varieties are extremely rare. That's one is Bal Sundari, and this is Miss India. They, you can't find them in the United States. Let me get this one out of. It's been very windy, so. I have to prune this, or I don't know what to do with this. This is a giant. I think Thailand giant jujube or something. Mm -hmm. There's the sun. Mexican cream guava. I think these are flowers. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. These are pink tropical guavas. So, star cherry coming up. Planted the uh, seed and did well. This is Grand Duke of Tuscany, jasmine, still alive. This is an Indian sour jujube. It keeps it can't take the freezes, so it's not gonna do well in this weather. This is that one kiwi that I told you about. Let me see if it's still green. Yeah, see? It's still green. This is that one fig replacement in case the other one dies over there. This is a uh, Japanese lilac. Yep. And I'm still thinking about where to put the, the sugar cane. I have four of them here. Not sure where to put it. The avocado is doing well. They're all coming back. And the star cherries. It's the Joey. Strongest in growth so far. This one's obviously alive but struggling with producing new leaves. This is a uh, pink jasmine and I put the stump down here so I can climb over it. 
I think it'll look really nice. Two little papayas over there. And uh, look at the backyard. Full of um, um, wildflowers. I'm not going to mow any of this. If it wasn't uh, raining so much, you would, you would have seen so many butterflies around. It's really cool. This is going to be my butterfly sanctuary. And I like the way it looks too. I'm going to have to cut down these trees before I put the fence down. Those ones that are leaning. These are a bunch of, uh, I don't know, what, eight to six. Um, citrus that I propagated from seeds. Unfortunate that some uh, something got to it, but I wanted a uh, a pot with some soil, so I can plant some of my um, seeds in there. I got a couple of new uh, varieties of jujubes, wild jujube they call them. I think this one is still alive. I'm waiting to see. But I dug, him up, dug it out of the ground because it just it was in a um, weird location in the middle of the road. I'm waiting on it to see if it's going to come back or if it's dead. Find a better home for it later on. Alright, that's pretty much it. So most 99.9 uh, .9 of... Our plants are working out and doing great and uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of production already this year like the peaches are loaded jujubes will always produce they've been producing since last year so we'll have more of those I think we'll get some grape we will get some fig blueberries what else I know there is like some oranges over there coming up but I'm gonna cut the fruit off I want the citrus to grow not uh, you know just focus on growth and uh, branch development more than fruit development yeah so we're gonna get the whole bunch of stuff we're gonna plant some beans tomatoes peas so we'll have a decent uh, production the angel trumpet Looking good. This is uh, Carolina Jasmine, extremely invasive, but uh, it's producing so many le uh, seeds, seed pots. I, I'll have to, I love this plant, so I'll probably spread a whole bunch of these seeds in the forest when we take a walk there. Duke Duskany Jasmine, Rangoon. This one's coming back. Honeysuckle over there. The bananas. Everything looks good. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.